Hey guys, come along with me to do some tacks. We are focusing on the upper face here today. As you can see, we're doing the frontalis. This is where we're starting. So I always have my patient um, raise their eyebrows so I can see the movement that they have. And then they also have them clench their teeth so I can feel that lateral border of that frontalis. From there, I'm marking the lateral border of the frontalis, making sure I'm treating all the way across just so that I avoid any spocking of the brow. I place my dots evenly throughout um, the frontalis and I make sure that they have an even spread across. Here I am injecting. As you can see, I am injecting at a 45 degree angle. I'm using half my needle depth and I'm kind of just watching the tissue. I am paying attention to any resistance that I might be having. If I'm meeting resistance, it means that I'm either too deep, too superficial, or that my patient just has really good skin. As you can see, I did struggle in some of these injection sites with resistance, and it was because this patient just had really tough skin. So you have to know your patient's baseline and assess them accordingly so you know what to expect when you inject. As I inject, I kind of just make my way across the frontalis, nice and slow. I'm pushing half a box in each. I did dilute my dose to standard, so it is easier for me to inject and just make sure that I am injecting roughly the same amount in every one of those dots to make sure I'm getting a good, even diffusion of that tox across the frontalis. Um, Something to keep in mind is that men typically have a higher dose with tox. They have stronger muscles. So when you're dosing your patient and it just happens to be a man, you should definitely be assessing the strength of those muscles and adjust your dose accordingly. A woman in a man's dose is never going to be the same. So just keep that in mind when dosing a man. As you can see, I'm reaching the other lateral border and I'm injecting close to that lateral border. Like I said before, I don't want any spocking of the brow. So I'm injecting all the way to that lateral border to prevent that. Now we are moving on to the glabella complex. So this includes your procerus and your corrugators, your medial and lateral corrugators. That middle muscle in between the eyes is called your procerus and then these two medial and lateral dots are your corrugators. Your procerus is responsible for that horizontal line at the bridge of your nose during contraction, and those corrugators are responsible for those 11 lines that appear between the eyebrows when you contract that muscle. You have to be careful injecting this muscle because the lateral corrugator thins out and there is a higher likelihood that you hit the frontalis if you're going too deep. Next muscle group that we injected were the crow's feet. As you can see, I had that patient smile, and then I kind of drew my dots accordingly to where movement was happening. I'm pulling taut on that skin and injecting at 45 degree angle, and I'm making sure this injection is super, super superficial. The tissue should almost bleb around it, so as you can see, I have a little bleb like a TB test that's completely normal, and you're in the right plane of tissue. The patient in general that I was treating had very tough tissue, so if you see any struggling during it, it's because it was the patient's baseline. Um, here I am marking up the masseters. I find that anterior and posterior border of that masseter. This patient had rock solid masseters. He complained of TMJ clenching grinding, so I made sure that I injected in multiple sites to break up that diffusion and make sure that patient didn't get a fish gill. We don't want fish gills. Um, if you have a fish gill, that means that it didn't correctly diffuse into that muscle or that muscle's undertreated. So in order to prevent that, I inject my masseters if they're very strong with multiple injection sites. Here I am confirming before I'm injecting. Injecting at 90 degrees, full needle depth. That is a deep muscle and it's very large. So here I am injecting. Afterwards, make sure you're cleaning off your patient and educating them about post-care instructions. Thanks for coming along.